I think in the not too distant future, all cars on the road will be self-driving electric. And you say, no, that's why that can't be. No, no, but I, because we went from horses to cars in 10 years. I'm just talking about going from cars to another kind of car. That can surely be less time than going from horses to cars. Self-driving, and, and, and but you know, you know how you start that? Only self-driving cars in the HOV lane. Then, then these cars know where all the other cars are. If you want to change lanes, it tells the other car, I'm changing lanes now. They part, it changes lanes. And they can even text and drive at the same time with no loss of their acuity on the road because they're freaking electric computers. And they can drive 120 miles an hour with two cars distance between them because there's not gonna be something they don't anticipate. And so once you see that, cutting down your travel time, I think it's gonna go quickly. And suppose, but you're a car enthusiast. What do you do? I'd like my, uh, my a classic car. There'll be car parks for you to drive them. <laughs> Is that any different from people who like riding horses and you go to the stables and ride horses? It's quaint, a quaint memory of a bucolic past. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've got your Ferrari, whatever. You, go, if you park it at the car park. You'll take an electric car to get there and you can do your thing uh, as we now people who ride horses. So I see that happening.